company has been hired to do the work. Action News reporter John Paul joining us now live from Eddystone, Pennsylvania with this exclusive look, John, this inside view of the facility that's making this material to help reconstruct the highway. And Shari, this is the stuff that's going to help 95 open sooner. All right, this looks just like stone, right? It's not. It's made out of glass. This stuff is super lightweight, and this is exactly what they need for their temporary fix. Today, Governor Josh Shapiro revealed the solution to getting I-95 open is specially engineered fill. That's the fill they're going to use to basically build up the ground behind me to the surface level of I-95. That solution is just 25 miles south of the collapse at Aero Aggregates in Eddystone, Delaware County. It looks like stone, but it's made from recycled glass, so it's super light and durable. This is sort of our first kind of all hands on deck emergency response. Rick Smith explained why this fill is so important. It needs to support 160,000 vehicles a day, but has to be lightweight to prevent the road from sinking. The idea is you don't want to put additional weight on the soft soils below the structure. It will be placed in layers, kind of like a cake. Metal caging will go in between those layers for additional support. The top will then be paved over for drivers. But they have to get up to 20,000 cubic yards of this stuff up to the collapse site. This is going to be very busy over the next few days. And the Pennsylvania State Police will help with that, escorting up to 50 truckloads a day. I'm told those trucks may even use the closed northbound lanes to get there. Smith says he's glad his company in Delco can help out in this disaster. I'm very proud to be part of the solution. Yeah, so it's going to get really busy around here over the next 24 hours. I will not be able to stand here. That is for sure with all the trucks they're going to have coming in and out. They say, hey, they are ready for this big fill, and uh, they're going to get the trucks rolling sometime around 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Walter, you said it. It is all hands on deck. Live in Eddie Stone, John Paul, Channel 6, Action News. Walter? This will be a monumental effort for yeah. sure. All right. Thank you, John.